So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, what I think is a really exciting development for carcinosarcoma or women with carcinosarcoma. And that is the launching of a dedicated or specific carcinosarcoma clinic at the University of Alabama. And uh, the clinic has opened. We're, they're starting to see patients. Um, and we're really excited about it because I think it's going to make a huge difference in the care of women with our cancers. We have got a plan mm -hmm. where there will be a center for carcinosarcoma with, with not just me, but other staff members who, are, who have an expertise in this tumor, mm -hmm. um, both from a molecular and biologic standpoint and hopefully from a clinical standpoint. Mm -hmm. And that will all be ensconced in the website. And patients can come at a very minimum for a second opinion. Mm -hmm. But if they want to stay for therapy and treatment, no problem. And um, that will be tied to, and this will take some time to, in, to uh, create, but I don't think too long, will be tied to novel research projects. Mm -hmm. And I think what's most relevant for patients will be clinical trials mm -hmm. that are specific for carcinosarcoma. So if women decide they want to come see you at the carcinosarcoma clinic, what can they expect? So I think that um, in, in the big picture, the gynecologic oncology clinic is at UAB is actually spectacular. So they all ha they have the infrastructure to make this mm -hmm. uh, to do this right. But we'll ensconce in that a number of individuals, both in terms of supportive care, mm -hmm. scheduling, mm -hmm. nursing, and then staff who understand uh, the disease and understand the needs of those patients. And so I think because of the nature of carcinosarcoma and the fact that many of these patients will be coming from far away, we will work very aggressively at m making sure we schedule patients quickly. Mm -hmm. This cannot be, oh yeah, okay, we'll see you in a month and a half. Right. This is gonna happen fast. Uh, we'll make sure that it's clear that the second you hit the airport, how you get here, mm -hmm. which is, I might add, a lot easier than other cities. That's for sure. About yeah. seven minutes away. Uh, and then where the clinic is, come on up, all the records will be obtained, mm -hmm. uh, and everybody will be knowledgeable about that particular case, uh, and patients will be seen and, and the opinions rendered. So the question could is, and we've talked about it, could we create a network of centers of excellence for carcinosarcoma? And I happen to know not a short list of colleagues who, either clinically or from a research standpoint, are interested in this disease, who are scattered across very good institutions, mm -hmm. excellent institutions across the United States. So creating a network where we could open these trials up is, um, I think, very feasible. Well, I know that there's brilliance and expertise at UAB. I think if you can add more brains to the pool, then perhaps you know, you, you're able to generate more and more ideas that you know, one group hadn't thought of everything, but maybe two or three groups. And what what I would what I would envision is that this network of clinicians who would be dedicated to serving women with carcinosarcoma would share their findings, would share their data, would share their experiences, so that we now have this rich pool of knowledge. And in addition, the women who go there have some confidence that they're dealing with an expert in carcinosarcoma.